What's up guys, it's the Middle Age Gamer here, and I'm playing Train Simulator 2013 today, along with my friends Crown and Coca-Cola over there in the top right. Got my drink here, still have a little bit left, I don't know if you can see that, there you go. i have to pour me some here in a little bit. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the game, we're going to do a career scenario today. We're going to be doing the Great Western Main Line with the Class 166 NSE, and it's Oxford bound, basically we're starting at Reading going all the way to Oxford, stopping at every station, picking up uh, drunk passengers on the way, and uh, I'll be uh, drinking and training today, as you can tell. Let's go ahead and get into the game. There we go. So we're taking over the train here at Reading. Services for Oxford stopping at every station. Passengers must board the train here. Let's go and get it open. There you guys go. Let's go ahead and get in the cab to see what the hell is going on. And get up our task list. Okay, so pick the passengers. Basically go one station to station on a timetable. And it looks like we have a train up ahead coming in on our track that's why we had the red light it's probably going to be switching to the right I'm assuming well I guess it could be going either way but I'm assuming to the right and uh, make sure we got the brakes on real quick and pour me some uh, crown here and some coke most of this is whiskey in here I'm getting a little bit drunk not gonna lie so it says passengers have completed boarding. You can now set off when ready. Great, thank you for the uh, for that info. So I add some coke to my whiskey here, so I don't die tonight. I would like to continue doing commentaries for you guys. All right. It looks like it's going to be a cargo train coming in. Should be getting a green light here shortly. There we go. Go ahead and bump it up to 100% here. I have a feeling it's going to be a pretty tight timetable. Hopefully, I can keep up with it. Um, you know, I'm not quite sure yet. It's my first time driving this locomotive. We'll see what happens. I'm probably going to try to come into the station. It's pretty hot, hot and heavy. We'll see what happens though. Got a passenger view there. Bit uh, cloudy outside, as you can see. Make sure our windshield wipers work. They do. And almost got caught speeding there. Speed limit, as you can see at the bottom, is going up to 75 miles per hour. And we'll be arriving in Tilehurst in about two miles or so. I right, got it at a hundred percent here. And this train always sounds like it's slowing down when you hit 51 miles per hour. But that's just how it is. I'm assuming it's pretty uh, pretty close to real life. Alright, so a mile and a half to go. Tilehurst 3 here. I'm going to start braking probably around 0.65 out. And I'm hoping that will give me enough time to stop. Again, it's my first time driving this train, so I'm not quite sure as of yet. And 
and I'm starting to buzz a little bit which is definitely a good thing when you're gaming alright so we're at point seven miles to go let's go ahead and start braking I'm gonna bring it up to about 65 or so I think I'll do 68 percent just want to make sure we don't get into the emergency braking situation High-speed train just passed us. Bring the braking down. It seems like we're braking a little bit hard. Yeah, because it started braking a little bit later on that one. And we should arrive at the train station around 8 o'clock. ETA is 8 as well, which is good. Um, but we're already running behind a few seconds, so gotta try to pick it up. Okay, it's gonna get the exterior here. And we'll go ahead and unload and load with the rail driver in your top right. There we go. And we got a guy walking downstairs on the concrete. Very nice, very nice deuce bag. Get out of my way. I'm still not sure if it's gonna rain or not. And I still feel like I'm behind on the timetable by about 20 seconds already, which is not a good, good thing. So I'm gonna try to book it out of the station. Good, 100%. Let's go ahead and go in the track view real quick. Watch us come out of the station. Got some announcements. I really like this route so far, especially with the announcement I just heard right there, and the scenery so far is pretty good. And I definitely like the cloudy weather. Go. And next station is uh, Pangborn 1. You can see our ETA is already a minute behind our arrival time, which is not good. I guess we'll find out if we arrive late here shortly. I really gotta start uh, breaking a little bit later than I just did to make this work. And two and a quarter miles to go. So I'll just do full throttle until we get there. And uh, some good overpasses here. Good scenery on the left and right hand side. And if you're not drinking, you should grab yourself a beer right now. I prefer smoking. Uh, grab yourself a smoke, whatever you want to do. There we go, now we have it on the uh, track meter there at the bottom. Just hitting 70 miles per hour here. Coming up on Pangborn 1. Just about a mile to go here. Start braking at uh, about 0 .6, 0 .65 since we're going a bit quicker. Go ahead and do 66% on the braking. 
see what happens this way hopefully we don't overrun it So far, so good. Maybe a little bit harder braking. Um, just a bit. It's pretty close, though. Let's go ahead and make sure we get in the station here. go we got all the cabs on the station I could have pulled up a little bit farther but trying to get the best time possible and catch back up as you can see uh, we're supposed to be leaving at 804 we're gonna be leaving at 805 so it's probably gonna take a, a little bit of a hit on the points I'm assuming Do 100% fairly quickly. That's the yard view camera right there. Coupler view. And of course, we got the passenger view very quiet back here, which is good. Oh, that guy is chilling. Still a little strange they don't move at all. Wish they would uh, just kind of shuffle around a bit, but neither here or there. Alright, go ahead and get back in the cab. And next station is going to be uh, Goring and Streetly 3. And it's about two and three quarters miles away. Still a minute behind. So I'm going to try to uh, catch up if possible. Again, if you're just tuning in, it's the Middle Age Gamer here playing Train Simulator 2013. Going from Reading to Oxford. I believe it's the class that was at 166, and we're using the uh, the rail driver in the top right hand corner as you can see. Trying to get a little bit of buzz going, don't want to get too drunk, still want to be able to complete this career scenario if possible. If not, I'll uh, re-record it a little bit drunker later on, we'll see what happens. Alright, and we got the uh, Goring and Streetly station in the bottom there about uh, one and a half miles away and again we're going to start breaking at uh, about 0.60 seems to be doing us about right we'll see what happens on this one seems like we're going a bit faster And I'm uh, recording this with one GTX 670. I do have a uh, dual, but of course SLI, as you know, is very, very bad for trying to record on. It's basically impossible. But I'm still getting about uh, 45 to 50 frames. So it's going to start breaking per second, even with just the one video card. And I'm going to be doing about 68% breaking here. And if we uh, are still breaking a bit hard, I can uh, go down to 0.55 or 0.50 next time. Uh, 
That's about right. We're still at the beginning of the station as opposed to the end. Go ahead and uh, let it roll up just a bit. And we're losing a couple seconds here, but that's all right. Let's go ahead and get it back to a 60% break or so. There you go. I'm going to let the passengers on. Yeah, we've got a nice driver there. I'll be heading out here in a bit. And they have 390 points. We're at 508. A little bit late on that station. Let's go straight to 100%. Not sure it's possible to meet the timetable, honestly. I feel like I've uh, done a pretty good job. If I do this mission or a scenario again, then I'll probably just hot rod it into each station so that I barely make it and hopefully I'd keep up. In the meantime, I'm going to be drinking. Cheers, mates. Uh, grab yourself a beer if possible. And it seems like I lost my uh, USB connection. Not sure how or why, to be honest. Still don't have it back. Go ahead and put this on pause real quick while I reset the, uh, the USB connection. See what happens. Not sure what's going on at this point. I'm going to plug both these back in. And I know you guys can't see this, but I'm going to be getting to the desktop real quick to reset the camera as well. See if I get that fixed. go so it seems like we got both the camera and the uh, the rail driver back my USB just shut off for some reason I have no clue why uh, we'll see what happens when I go to edit the videos hopefully both are still working anyways uh, doing 100% RPMs are at 2400 which is the max for this locomotive and we got about two and a quarters to go to Chelsea. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Hopefully Brits can help me out. And about two miles to go. Some good scenery on both the uh, left and right hand side. And I do love the overcast day myself. Maybe it'll start raining. We'll find out. And uh, one and a half miles. Go about 75 miles per hour. I think I'm going to start stopping at uh, 0.60 again. Maybe 0.50 or 55. See if I can catch up on my timetable. I'm still a minute behind, unfortunately. Try 0.55, see what happens. It's uh, very, very risky. Uh, I don't know. Let's 
Let's go ahead and do point six zero. And definitely want to break. Let's go ahead and do sixty eight percent here. Seems like we're really coming up on this station fairly quickly. Hopefully it's not because I'm drunk. Yeah, really coming into this station pretty hot. Whew, that's close. That is definitely close. Not sure if I want to try to pull that again or not. Still a minute behind, even with doing that right there. That's risking my whole uh, 30 to uh, 45 minute video here. I'm just gonna play it out though. Probably getting deducted a little, little bit of points, but there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah, getting deducted a little bit of points. Still getting higher on the points, but and high-speed train on the left-hand tracks over there. I need one of those engines to help me uh, get back in order here. This is what matters here, task list. You can see I'm getting check marks all the way down, even with being a little bit late, so uh, that's fine by me. I'll go ahead and finish out the scenario. And I can always redo it later if I ever want to get some OCD. But I got plenty more routes, pretty more trains to try out with the uh, rail driver. So we're going to Didcot Parkway 3. And our ETA is still a minute behind the arrival time on here. Which at this point I really, really could care less. What matters is, is drinking right here. Still no rain, very overcast. Got another high speed train coming up on us. There it goes. Very nice. I'll be uh, driving that here pretty soon. Got quite a bit of ways to go, about three and a half miles. To Did Cut Parkway 3. I don't know what the fuck that was, but uh, I need some British people on here to tell me how to pronounce these damn stations. Because us Marrakins don't know how to do it. You know what I'm saying? Getting quite a bit of good scenery on both sides. It's probably one of the better routes I've seen. Very green. I'm down here in San Antonio, Texas, and uh, we don't see too much of the green unless you go to East Texas, but uh, San Antonio, West Texas, mostly browns. And we got a speed reduction up here for uh, 70 miles an hour, which is not going to help. Let me click on that. That's warning us of the uh, speed reduction. I do have an AWS button on here to hit OK. I'm not sure which one it is, so I'm just going to use the mouse for the time being. And I still got a green light on the track, which is what matters. Five miles to the speed decrease. Let's go ahead and uh, cut it down real quick.
want to do an emergency break. That's what that was. Not sure why I went to emergency break. Maybe I overhit it. You can tell the uh, whiskey's kicking in a bit. Still running about a minute behind. And a little bit over over breaking right there. Yes, yes, I hear you. I think the OK button, which is right here, is the one that clicks off the AWS, but I'm afraid to try it this far into the scenario. I'll do it on another video. Let's go ahead and load and unload the passengers here. Couple more stations to go. Let's see, one, two, three more stations before we hit Oxford and we'll complete our run there. Really tired of seeing that high speed train go by, by the way. Really wish I was in that about now, especially being behind a little bit. I'm not sure here. Uh, to get to Appleford, we're off by two minutes, which is absolutely insane. Okay, switching tracks here. Pretty good scenery and uh, a couple stop trains on the right, which is pretty nice. Pretty realistic in my opinion as well. And uh, about about one and a half miles to Appleford here. Just gonna be careful not to go over the speed limit, which is raising up to 40 here in a minute. And getting AWS again. This means a uh, got yellow here. See what's up ahead here. So make sure I'm not going to run into a red light up here. I think it's supposed to go double yellow before hitting the red. We'll see what happens though. Do have a red light right here. Oh, there it goes. Went to yellow. Good timing and uh, pretty nice on the double decker bus right there. Oh, it just disappeared. So we got scenery right now.
And that sound was just the, uh, the seeing the lights down, stopping cars. Yeah, it's a bit different. Had to pull off the main line there to head to Oxford. And hopefully I can break in time right here, which it looks like I should be able to. There we go. About a minute and a half behind. Oh, still got two more stations to get to. If just tuning in, it's the middle aged gamer here, and I'm uh, playing with the rail driver in the top right hand corner of your screen. And feel free to comment and subscribe. I did get a penalty for being late, which nothing I can really do on that. I'm gonna go get a track view that's not overhead, which is nice. It's gonna be on the side of the track, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on this for a minute. Looks like some sort of power plant in the background. It almost looks like there's birds flying as well, which is pretty neat. Oh, and Coleham is just in point eight oh miles. I'm gonna go ahead and get back in the cab then. So we'll be coming on that, coming up on that fairly quickly. Oh, back down to a minute behind here. Hope I can get stopped in time. Looks like I'm barely going to be able to, which I'll take that. Sometimes luck's better than skill. There we go. And at 847 points here, we've got one more station before Oxford. Let's go ahead and see here. Yep, Radley, and then uh, Oxford will be the end of this scenario here. Hopefully, I pass it. Still got the penalty for being a bit late. Radley's only about uh, two and a quarter miles away, so it should be hitting it here shortly. Not sure what that is back there. Is that a primary school, prison, or what? Uh, hard to say. Could just be industrial. I do like the details, especially of the power lines and other small things like that. And of course the birds, even though they're just little blurs, I still think all the little touches are pretty nice. And 
and about uh, 1.65 miles away from Radley. As you can tell, my speech is starting to slur a little bit, which is a good thing. Cheers, mates, again, if you're watching. And track's been uh, fairly level this whole time. No major inclines or declines. I think I'll probably start stopping around 0 0.60. Just to be on the safe side. Since I'm getting towards the end of the scenario. Getting a bit more cautious. cautious. Can't talk right now. Thanks to uh, Crown. Go ahead and start slowing down here. Got some good scenery on both sides there. Breaking a bit early, but it looks like a little bit smaller of a station as well, or platform, I should say, here in, in Radley. Almost got back on time, though. Still exactly a minute behind. That's a lot better than being two minutes behind. Take a quick look around the cab here. I wonder if it has a uh, no no sunscreen or sunshield like the American trains. And last stop is going to be Oxford. It's about a five mile journey, so hopefully there's no uh, surprises in the meantime. Still got a bit of a penalty. Go ahead and put it in full throttle here. And we'll take our five mile journey. Let's take a quick look at the uh, the route. There we go. So we're heading north. There's the route there. It's so regional passenger as it states. And still no rain, which is fine by me. Make things a bit easier. I'm just hoping there's no surprises going into Oxford. Keep the mouse pointer over the AWS system just in case. If I have time, I'll try the OK button on the rail driver that I programmed to see if that works or not. And still looks like we're going to be riding about a minute later than we should. So again, at some point, I, I may still come back and. Uh, try to make the timetable but this will do for now I'll be uploading this to YouTube and you'll be hearing my uh, drunk ass talk again feel free to comment and subscribe I don't care if you write random letters in the comments uh, I definitely need comments definitely need subscribers so anything you guys can do would help me out would be great I'm also moving houses so eventually 
Do we have a speed reduction? What is that? What's going on? We got a yellow light coming up. Let's find out. I'll be moving houses, like I said, and uh, I'll have multiple computers there so I can upload more videos, have friends over to, to play as well, which should be interesting. And we have a green light. I'm not sure why the AWS system was going off. Go ahead and keep it at 100%. And I'm not sure what that is on the rail. It's kind of scary. Looked like there was a bush on the rail there. Anyways, didn't derail me, so that's fine. And got a double yellow coming up. And the OK button did not work by any means. And I'm not sure what's coming up and go ahead and slow down just in case. I don't care if I'm late to the last station. I'll just uh, do what I have to here. And I'm zoomed in just to see. Okay, well, it's a green. Is that a green light or yellow light? Can't tell. And my OK button's not working to hit the AWS for whatever reason. Back to a single yellow here. Just not sure what the speed limit is going to be up here. I'm going to go ahead and slow down to 25. I think it is going to slow down to 25 up here. We'll find out though. Actually, looks like we got a red light going in there. There you go. Got the green light. And bring it up to 25 here. No speed limit, but uh, see another red light down there as well. Not sure if that's for my track or not. Bit scary. I don't think it is. Just gonna keep it at 25 though. I'll take my uh, deduction when I get into the station. Not too worried about it at this point. As I think I'm still gonna pass the uh, scenario either way. Ooh. And I'm speeding there. It's not good. Not what I wanted. Just completely messed up. That's what I get for being a little buzzed. Anyway, it's still over a thousand points. Hopefully. Pending whatever deduction this is right here. We're coming in late. Alright. Going to get the exit here and drop the passengers off here. And uh, about two minutes behind at the end. Sped just a little bit, still over a thousand points. I'm at 1046 right now. And that was the uh, Reading to Oxford run. Let's see what happens. Let's see what my score is at the end.
Can't believe I sped at the end, but whatever. I'll take it for the time being. Especially in the state that I'm in. There you go, well done. You made each stop and kept the commuters happy, but how did you score? Let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so we had the speeding at the end, which was the biggest downfall. Everything else was a plus, which is good. And I got 11.48 for the Oxford bound scenario on the regional passenger train. I believe it's a class 166. Anyways, thank you guys for watching The Middle Age Gamer. Again, feel free to comment and subscribe here on YouTube. And I will be on uh, Twitch TV at some point once I get moved and get on some better internet. And uh, see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.